Well, hi, everybody. Father Peter here. I'm here Ned with Tipton. Ned Tipton, uh, Director of Music Ministry here at St. Mark's Episcopal Church in New Canaan, Connecticut. Uh, Ned, listen, you served for 21 years in Paris at the American Cathedral in Paris. Your French is beautiful. And now, just this past week, we've had the tragic fire uh, at Notre Dame. I wonder if you could say a word for our people. Uh, this is a tragedy for all of us, but for you, it's more personal. Could you just, a word? Yes. In 1979, the first time I ever went to Paris, uh, Notre Dame was the very first place I went because I realized, I felt that once I got inside that, it's not just a building, it's, that's mm -hmm. the heart of France. That's the heart of Paris, it's the heart of France, spiritually, culturally, uh, in all sorts of ways. I knew that's where I had to go first. That's where I went. And then 10 years later, I got the job at the Cathedral in Paris, 1989. Well, yep and um, <clears throat> was there uh, often just as like everyone else, just going in and experiencing this, the place. 2005, I played a recital there. Mm. Um, I got to know several of the organists. There are, there are three uh, official organists of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. People play recitals there from all over the world uh, uh, every single week. People visit it from all over the world. It is the most visited one of the most visited sites in the world. Mm, yeah. So last Monday when we saw this awful thing happening, I was, I was, um, it really shook me. And uh, as I know, the organists, not only in Notre Dame, but also many of the organists in Paris, um, and have always, and will always have a very strong uh, attraction to Paris, I thought, I must do something. We must do something. The American organists need to do something to show our brothers and sisters in France how important this is to, we know it is for them and how it, important it is for us also. Mm -hmm. So I contacted friends in Paris, I contacted um, friends in the United States, um, and I actually put out a call on Facebook uh, saying, who will join me in creating an association of American organists who will donate uh, to this cause. Now at the time, we all thought that the organ was probably going to be lost also because we watched the fires get closer to the towers and the organ is right there between the towers and so we thought well, there will be no more organ so we're going to have to start from, from nothing. Fortunately, uh, a minor miracle occurred. Not only the organ was spared, but the rose windows were spared. Yeah. The structure of the, yeah, of the cathedral is, is still intact basic structure. So the organ uh, re will require work, uh, but nowhere near what we thought it was going to be. I've been in touch with, um, as I said, my friends in Paris, and through one of them, um, I've been, I'm in touch with the person in the Diocese of Paris who would be responsible for receiving uh, funds, uh, monies from this fund which we would establish. So it has only been three days, so it's, yeah. at this point it's still an idea. Um, uh, that said, my plea on Facebook, I've gotten, I, I've lost track. I, I can't keep count now of how many people who have responded. Let me know what I can do. Wow. Wow. Well, I incredibly beautiful. And uh, your, your um, passion, passion <laughs> and your heartbreak brought together to right. serve uh, and the devastation of the building. And also, the, as you said, the miracle that that uh, that medieval structure yeah. held its ground in the midst of the blaze is really, really quite something. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you might say a word for all of us about your friends in Paris and how they are doing and, and just uh, how they have received this. Well, again, the first day as we watched the fire, we didn't know where the end was going to be. Yes. yes. The, the first day we all went to, to bed to sleep, those who could sleep, thinking, what are we going to have in the morning? Mm -hmm. First thing I did was to, the following day on Tuesday, was to text my friend there. And I had seen on um, television that they were thinking that the organ had been spared. He said, yes, the organ was spared and did not burn. Mm -hmm. So the second day, as we saw uh, what was left of the cathedral, fortunately most of it, the 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 feeling changed. There, there's still a great sense of loss and devastation. Yeah. That that um, <clears throat> that this 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 symbol 
of, of so much of what is we think of as France was damaged, but it was not lost. And the, the, the president has vowed to, to rebuild it in five years. We're not sure that's going to happen in five years. Um, but at this point, I think 800 million euros have been pledged cool. um, yeah. to rebuild the cathedral. And then this morning I got uh, word from my friend that the what's called the Institut de France, um, it's very complicated to explain what the Institut de France is, and I'm not sure I understand it myself, but they have pledged to, um, to fund the restoration of the organ. I wrote again to my friend and I said, but don't you think it's important that, um, that American organs show their solidarity? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, absolutely. So yeah. the project will go on. I, I um, have a good friend in Craig Whitney, who was the um, bureau chief for the New York Times in mm -hmm. Paris for about five wow. years when I was there. Craig called me on Monday <clears throat> and said, uh, he, he had been asked to do an article for the Washington Post. Mm, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he said, uh, would you have anything to say that I, I can quote you? Which mm -hmm. he did, and so I was quoted in the Washington I Post. I was trying to find the Washington <laughs> Post on Tuesday morning. Yeah, yeah. and um, uh, Craig said, he's a brilliant writer and also a wonderfully gifted organist himself. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. and wow. Um, uh, I've also been in touch with the... Uh, the president of the American Guild of Organists, and we'll probably run this entire fund through the through the AGO because we'll need some sort of sort of right. legal structure. Yep. Um, so we're all feeling very positive uh, and and relieved on one hand. Yeah. Well, listen. Yeah. I know you're going to Paris. We uh, oui, last minute prochain. And we we we. Uh, I've took French for years, you can tell. Uh, that is Monday or Tuesday after Easter? I leave here uh, Monday afternoon. I'm there Tuesday wonderful. until Wednesday Great. the following. Yeah. Well, our prayers will be with you. Our prayers are uh, with, uh, you, you know, your people and the, and the people of France and, of course, uh, all who love the cathedral in the world here. Uh, and uh, grateful for you here. Love hearing about your relationship with the cathedral and your uh, raising up funds and, and the people, uh, the organists of the United States to uh, to gather around. So, and I will be conducting at the cathedral in Paris on Sunday the twenty eighth. So, if American cathedral like, in Paris. American cathedral in Paris, Sunday the twenty eighth. I'm going to conduct. George Sank. We. We. Twenty three of George Sank. So, if you're in Paris and you're you. listening to this, what time? Uh, Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Uh, a beautiful liturgy. Uh, with a great, uh, a great maestro uh, back there. Your your friends doing the playing. You're doing the conducting. He's, well, the the organist of the cathedral that will yeah. do the playing. I'll I'll be doing the conducting. So you'll you'll see me more. Great. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. We won't hear. They will hear. Peace and blessings, everybody. I want you to hear a word from Ned about uh, about this. Take care.